hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another episode of keeping up with coco if you are new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss any videos when i drop them also be sure to follow me on instagram at keeping up with coco underscore that's k-u-w-c-o-c-o -C -O underscore once i get to 10,000 subscribers i am giving away 200 dollars and all you have to do is be subscribed to my youtube channel and following me on instagram now today 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 i'm coming at you with a video um i basically wanted to share this video with you guys on how i got my um previous sugar daddy to spend over a hundred thousand dollars on me a hundred thousand dollars i tell you guys how i did it and basically i dated him okay we we dated each other we became one we were in a relationship okay okay and that's just how i feel like you have to go about getting some of these guys to spend money on you you have to get into a relationship with them and you know you never know you might actually end up liking them and so i um basically dated this guy for like a year and i had him spend over a hundred thousand dollars on me on a whole bunch of shit okay like a whole bunch of shit and um it was a really good time i was 20 years old and um <laughs> it was like i want to say like two weeks before my 21st birthday when i met him and i met him on seeking arrangement <laughs> so it was a good time it was a good vibe okay so we're just gonna call him t so i met t on seeking arrangement i haven't been on that website for a while so this was after my like horrible experience with like you know I don't know if you guys have seen my um, first <laughs> my first ever sugar baby date or sugar daddy sugar baby date experience i posted that video i shared my experience how i met this guy in second arrangement and he was motherfucking crazy okay period 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 if you haven't watched that video go watch it but when i finally decided like you know what i'm about to go back on this website and um you know give it a shot give it a try it actually ended up working so well for me um i was literally on the website for probably like two weeks honestly i wasn't even taking it serious like if some a guy responded to me i would respond to them like and you have to understand it's not like it's an app i don't know if there's an app for it now but it's not like it's an app where it's like the stuff pops up when people send you message you literally have to take your time and go back and check if someone has messaged you back or messaged you and stuff like that so I wasn't even really like taking it serious because I had other shit that I was doing, you know. I was still busy trying to make money. I was still busy working. So I wasn't really like on it like that. So for the two weeks that I was on it, surprisingly though, it was like one day I was at home. Um, it was like an off day or something. I wasn't working. And um, I decided to like go on the freaking website so i was just sitting there messaging guys because i think sick, sick and arrangement you like message the guy if you like his stuff or you can like request to see more of his pictures and stuff like that so um this person i think they had either liked me or something like that or requested to see my pictures so i like accepted and then i requested to see their pictures because i realized that they didn't have no profile picture so um when i requested to like see his pictures he immediately answered so i was like oh, okay whatever <laughs> so i went and i checked it out and i mean like he wasn't bad looking i'm not even gonna lie though he was bald he was balding okay okay he was like in his 50s um <laughs> But, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. He was a bald and nice, rich man, okay? And he spoiled me, so who cares, right? So anyway, so we had um, seen each other's pictures. So then I messaged him, and I was like, hi. And then he was like, hey, right away. I was like, oh, okay, so he's like active, okay? let's like. And the type of person that I am, like, I don't have time to like message people wait a few days and then message people and then they're like let's hang out like no nah, i'm ready to get to the point because it's like i want money and i need it now okay i need money i need it now okay period i don't have time to 
I don't have time for that. Okay, I was ready to meet right away. It's to see if you can give me some money. Like, what's up? He was like, oh, um, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. And I was like, um, actually, I'm at home. He's like, going to work today. I'm like, no, no work today. Because you know, they always want to ask you, oh, what do you do for work? Like, mind your business. Okay, this is not what we came here for. Like, mind your business. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's an off day today. I'm staying home. And so then he was like, oh, let's FaceTime. And I was like, okay, period. <laughs> That's what I like to see so we could get to it. So we FaceTimed and um, we had actually like a good, I want to say 30, 45 minute conversation. I was like, oh, okay, this is a cool dude. And he was like, oh, okay, you're cool, you're nice. We should get together. So I think it was like, let's just say Thursday we got in contact. Then we plan on meeting Friday evening or whatever. So we met that Friday evening for dinner. And um, it was like, it was cool. He was a nice dude. And then he like, you know, we talked about like what he was looking for on seeking arrangement and what I was looking for. And I basically just told him like, I'm looking for someone to give me some allowance. Like I need money and I need it now. <laughs> Okay, I was like, I'm basically looking for someone to give me an allowance and like, you know, we can get to know each other and like, you know, who knows what's going to come out of it. And so he agreed. So it started like he was basically, basically giving me $500 every time that we met up. And you know, it was like maybe twice a month or something. But listen, it didn't even, <laughs> okay, a good sis over here. I know how to finesse okay <laughs> only thing is I sold myself short because I was young and this was like my first like let me not say like big win because I already had the guy that was flying me out on his private jet or whatever so that was that was a win but like his like the fact that I was getting an allowance like a set amount of money while he was still doing other things this was like my first ever big win so first it was like he said oh five hundred dollars i'm like okay five hundred dollars like you know cool I, I appreciate it like you have to think about it like i was 20 so i was 20 i told him that i was 21 though but that's a different story for a different day <laughs> anyway so i was 20 and it was like literally right before my 21st birthday. So I think I met him like two weeks before my 21st birthday. And um, I wanted to go to Atlanta and everything. And it's so funny that I got this man to buy me my Giuseppe's to pay for my hotel. Like it was late. <laughs> and I was like within two weeks of meeting him. Anyway, so yeah, like first he planned like, oh, who was going to give me $500. So the first time we met, he gave me $500. Then we went our own way. Then he like wanted to see me immediately again. And I was like, okay, like, damn, it's about to be another fine. <laughs> Period. Period. It's lit. <laughs> ah. And then he was like, um, you know, let's talk about like an allowance because, you know, he wanted to see me more often than just like twice a month or whatever the case is because he really liked me and i really liked him but i also did this thing bitch i cried i made him feel sorry for me and shit like a bitch was wild okay okay <laughs> a bitch was wild anyways so basically it ended up being a two thousand dollar a month arrangement um so he would give me two thousand dollars a month and basically i could like you know use the money to do whatever it is that i wanted to do and so then when it was my birthday and shit like that he would still buy me stuff like he bought me my first ever chanel bag he bought me two chanel bags actually um he would take me on trips so we went to like miami like saint thomas and like we went to like really like some nice places you know he would he would take me on little trips or whatever 
And then like I also was just traveling every to all the time. So like my friends and I went to Puerto Rico. He basically would pay for me to go to Puerto Rico. I went to California for my 22nd birthday. He paid for me to go to California. Like he was lit. And then I wanted to basically start a hair business because you know I was basically telling him how I had all this ambition and I wanted to um, start a business and First I started off like, oh, I'm gonna sew and stuff like that. Um, but then I was like, oh, you know what? Everybody is selling hair extensions, which at this point in time, you guys know um, Amora Jada or whatever her name was, she was selling hair extensions. So I was like, oh, you know what? This is something that I could do myself. So I basically pitched the idea to him and he thought it was a very smart idea. So he then was like okay let's start the business and then he bought me like girl i think he we spent over ten thousand dollars worth on inventory for my hair okay for my hair business like i still have some till this day like, i haven't seen him in it's been how many years it's been like two and a half years i haven't talked to this man and i'm still enjoying okay these bundles like I just sold some like last week <laughs> to this girl like I'm still literally like eating off of this man yeah so like he helped me basically buy all the inventory that I needed for my hair like you know he really helped me out like we did a whole massive photo shoot like he paid for it um like the website he helped me build the website like i built the website that i have now by myself luxurious k collection dot net by the way that's luxurious k collection dot net go check it out but um not that website i did it myself but the original website we like paid for people to build the website for us and he basically paid for it um oh yeah he so when i met him i had a <laughs> I had this little convertible um i think it was like a chrysler convertible it was a cute little car whatever i was looking good whatever <laughs> period i was looking good um but i wanted a new car and the winter time was coming so like he helped me freaking um finance a new car like he co-signed for it put the down payment for it and like every month was basically paying for it um <laughs> life was good okay life was good and then when we went to st thomas we went to this jewelry store okay like this nick was crazy okay like you think a rolex is anything girl this man bought me like a twenty thousand dollar diamond necklace okay like it was so cute i'm gonna leave a video um and then he also got me a watch the watch wasn't very expensive um it was like a thousand dollar watch and then he got me this ring it was just a girl a bitch was iced out <laughs> iced out no stylist no she no <laughs> that's eh, eh, iced out no stylist <laughs> no <she no. laughs> oh but anyway, so yeah, that was my very best experience that I had from uh, seeking arrangement. Um, he was such a good guy. I don't know what girl is talking to him now, but sis, please, okay? He was, he was mine. <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up my video if you like story times and if you want more story times like this make sure you thumbs up this video make sure you follow me on instagram at keeping up with coco underscore that's k-u-w-c-o-c-o -C -O underscore remember once i get to 10,000 subscribers i am giving away 200 dollars and all you have to do is be subscribed and follow me on my instagram like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.